Hello, it's Dr. Clark here again. Um, this time we're looking at a data set of dynamic exercise data which was recorded in uh, the physiology lab over at Guy's campus. Um, it was recorded on a full version of lab chart, not the reader, because of course you can't record in reader. Uh, and on the full version of lab chart it supports a number of modules, plugins and various other resources. Um, the one we're concerned with in this little tutorial is this spirometry module which was used to record uh, airflow uh, in and out of the lungs and you can see that in the top two lines here we've got flow and volume which would have come originally from the spirometry module um, however because this has been loaded into lab chart reader which doesn't support those modules you'll notice immediately that the flow and volume numbers are reported as voltages therefore they're not calibrated therefore we can't uh, derive any physiological meaning from them so for the purposes of this we're just going to remove all the other data here we are and just have a little closer look at these data okay so the data certainly there um, the integration of the flow into volume seems to have disappeared because the module isn't installed on the lab chart reader software. So all I can say at this point is thank goodness for calibrations. Um, we talked about how important calibrations were and this is a prime example of how important recording uh, your calibration, not only doing it but actually keeping a copy within each data file. And here we are, we have a calibration here. It's not labelled but I did write in my lab book at the time that this flow, this positive flow here was two litres per second using the Hoover device. So we know this is two litres per second little peak here. So what I can do is I can zoom in on that little peak, highlight this area here, and I can now calibrate these data in two litres per second going to unit conversion. I'm sorry, I've just selected the wrong bit. There we are, select that bit go to calibrate unit conversion I can select the upper part and I can zoom in just so you can see it's the upper part there we are the high peaks there click on the number and type in two and the units are liters per second uh, we'll give it one decimal place and then we'll choose the lower part click on point two and label this zero liters per second you can see that the actual calibration of the system was probably zero volts being zero and it's difficult to interpret perhaps what the voltage was for various litres per second and it does depend on the device you're using. So if you do have a recording that maybe doesn't have the uh, recorded calibration at the beginning you could perhaps use these as ballpark figures but of course without the calibration you can't be absolutely sure what the numbers are so that's why it's very important to record calibrations with every, uh, with every recording just in case things like this happen. So now we've calibrated these data we can click on OK and lo and behold here it's now two liters per second and the rest of our data are now calibrated into liters per second and you can see here the um, demonstrable increase in our flow rate over the course of this dynamic incremental exercise okay so we've got the flow working we still haven't got the volume working however so what we need to do ourselves is uh, integrate the flow data to create volume data so essentially it's the area under the curve we can do this within lab chart um, you've seen some of the previous tutorials talking about adding channels to do integration or counting well we've got a channel here already set up so let's use this one we can go to the drop down menu and choose integral we're going to uh, have to fill in this little integral form here this is the the volume integral and we're going to choose flow as our source channel because that's the red channel above the integral type we can choose between standard absolute positive or negative well clearly this person's breathing in and out so we're going to choose a standard integral which is a, a two-way integral um, we need to reset it if we don't reset the integral mathematics it's just going to carry on integrating up and up and up and for every breath it's going to add cumulative numbers to the integration which is uh, kind of counterproductive so we're going to choose a reset type here of reset each cycle so every time the um, the flow data reaches um, zero or reaches a peak it'll reset itself therefore we'll be integrating the positive and then the negative part of the curve which is what we want we don't need to limit our integration and we don't need to worry about scale at the moment but let's give it one decimal place just for clarity and we click OK and immediately you can see here that is integrated quite nicely um, the data and you can see when the person's breathing in with a positive flow 
the integration let's just zoom in so you can see that the person is breathing in the f integration is counting volume breathing out and the integration refers uh, back to zero so that's uh, that's correctly integrating how can we be sure the units are correct well looking at this data on the screen we can't however because we were smart and we saved our calibration earlier on using the giant three litre syringe we can go back in time and here are the syringe plunges recorded in the previous part of the calibration and we knew that the volume of the syringe was three litres so we're expecting these peaks to be around about three litres and if I hold my mouse on the peak here you can see it's 2.9 litres uh, over here you can see it's uh, 2.7 over here you can see it's 2.9 so I'm I'm pretty happy that we've uh, managed to calibrate these data correctly now so if I zoom out and look at the whole data set we've now got calibrated flow and calibrated volume and it's reporting on the uh, left hand side or right hand side of the screen uh, correct volumes so that's a quick tour of how to uh, calibrate data that's become uncalibrated uh, due to loading into lab chart reader uh, of course, you can't save this in Lab Chart Reader, so make sure you either write down the numbers or remember what you've done so next time you come back and to analyze the data, uh, you can redo this uh, very brief analysis. Okay, there you are.